Legal prostitution has been a part of our state for years. And what about the black market, illegal side of sex trafficking that afflicts our community? Cola 8 News Now's Paul Harris is live on 4th Street and has more on a local organization that's trying to give women and young girls a way out. Sarah, it's probably no surprise that 4th Street is a battleground in the fight against illegal sex trafficking. Now, one local organization called Awaken wants the public to know that girls exploited on this very street often start at the age of 13. Any given day, there are 100 children being trafficked in Reno. That is John McKendricks from the faith-based nonprofit group called Awaken. Since 2009, the group has been trying to raise awareness about the illegal sex trade in Reno. Trafficking is the exploitation of an unwilling participant. So a person is forced or coerced into a sexual activity against their will. Drawing on statistics from the FBI, Awaken has concluded some girls can be trafficked as young as 11, with the average starting age being 13. Traffickers or pimps usually prey upon a young girl's self-esteem to try and lure her in. Most of the time, the girls don't see, particularly the young girls, um, don't see them as pimps. They see them as their boyfriends. Some of the warning signs parents should look out for. Do they have new clothes? You did not buy them. Drug use or bruises on their body. There's branding that takes place. So when, when a trafficker um, gets a girl, um, they oftentimes give them tattoos. And so is there a random tattoo? Officials say Reno is a major hub in the sex trafficking business, primarily due to its proximity to Sacramento and the Bay Area. To highlight the problem, in January of this year, a rally against trafficking was held near the Reno Arch. I am a 13-year survivor of sex trafficking, and Reno, Nevada is the first city that I was brought to by my abusers. Literally right here, right, right, right behind us, right behind the arches at the El Dorado, I had a trafficker call my name. I walked up to the car. He was in a car full of other people that were exploiting women, grabbed me by my sweater and drove off. Problem is there is not much teeth in the current laws if a solicitor or John is caught. Well, right now the penalties are rather soft, actually. It's a misdemeanor. Most of them qualify for a citation, just the same as you would get for rolling through a stop sign. The pre-designated fine is $500. Organizations like Awaken can help a young girl or woman escape the clutches of a trafficker by helping with food, clothing, or finding them a place to stay. But law enforcement says Awaken cannot do it all on their own. The Reno Police Department's not going to solve this problem. The community is going to solve this problem. Now, just to give you an example of how Awaken is getting the word out, in my hand here, I have a coffee sleeve that I found at my local coffee shop in Midtown. Now, they are trying to pass these out to get the word out all around town. If you would like more information or you need help, go to our website at colotv.com. Click on the Hot Topics icon. Live on 4th Street, Paul Harris, Colo 8 News Now. Okay, Paul, thank you.